Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and we're going shopping today at English Pod. That's right. Today we are going to the store because we want to return a product. So maybe the product that we bought had some problem, and we want our money back. That's right. So let's take a listen to today's dialogue, and we'll be back in a moment to talk more about what's going on. Hi, I would like to return this TV. Sure. Do you have a receipt? Yeah. Here you go. Actually, I also want to return this keyboard. Okay. May I ask what the reason for returning these products is? The TV flickers a lot when I am watching a movie, and at times the image is not very clear. I see. And what about the keyboard? I spilled some coffee on it, and now it won't work. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we can only exchange or refund defective products. We cannot take responsibility for misuse or damages. Fine. I don't know why they make these things so delicate, anyways. All right, we're back. So now let's take a look at some of those keywords on language takeaway. Language takeaway. So we've got a great bunch of words for you here today. The first three are nouns, and then afterwards we've got a couple of adjectives to describe those nouns. But first up, we have the word receipt. That's right. So we want to return the television, and the worker there asks us if we have the receipt. Okay, a receipt is a small piece of paper that you receive from、uh, a clerk or a server after you buy something. So、right. if I buy a TV, I will have this small piece of paper that says that I paid five hundred dollars for the TV. That's right. So、um, usually they will ask you for the receipt to see when you bought the product and if you bought the product at that store. That's right. So the receipt has all sorts of information: date, time. Method of payment, cost, all those things. Right,、um, and it's very important if you ever want to return something.、Mm -hmm. Now, later on in the dialogue, the character explains why he wants to return the TV. Now, Marco, why does he want to do that? Well, he has a problem with the TV when he's watching a movie.、Uh, basically, the image is not very clear. So, this is the keyword image. So, image can mean a couple of different things. You might hear the word image to mean a photograph or a picture, like on a on a computer.、Mm -hmm. But in this case, the image is how well you can see the images on TV, the things on TV. That's right. So on TV, it's like you're seeing many many images all at once or very rapidly together. So maybe if you can't see clearly, you say that the image is not clear on the TV. All right. So、uh, if it's fuzzy, like there's gray and black, the image is not clear.、Mm -hmm. You can also say that you know I really like my new TV. The image is very clear. That's right. Okay. And not only are we returning a TV, but we're also returning a keyboard. All right. A keyboard. A key is something that you can push,、uh, but a keyboard is this、uh, this thing that you use with your computer. To type words. That's right. So many of you who are using the website as we speak are using a keyboard and a mouse. So these are probably one of the two most well-known objects when you're using a computer. That's right. And keyboards come in many different shapes and sizes. You can buy French keyboards and Russian keyboards.、Mm -hmm. So keyboard is the general word for this. Tool. Okay, so we are returning the keyboard, and the clerk explains that we can only return it if it is defective. If the if the product is defective. All right, so this is one of those adjectives I talked about a minute ago.、Mm -hmm. Adjectives describe things. So my keyboard is defective, or this TV is defective. That means it doesn't work. That's right. So we have a defective product. It's not working properly. It has some problem. And well, the guy was complaining that he didn't understand why these things, like the keyboard, are so delicate. All right, delicate is something you might see written on the side of a box、mm -hmm. when you receive a package. Something that is delicate breaks very easily. That's right. So you have to handle with care. So, for example, glass is very delicate; it can break easily. All right, glass is delicate, but stones. A big rock. That's、mm -hmm. not delicate. That's right. All right. So that's all we have for language takeaway. Let's review everything and listen to our dialogue. Hi, 
I would like to return this TV. Sure. Do you have a receipt? Yeah. Here you go. Actually, I also want to return this keyboard. Okay. May I ask what the reason for returning these products is? The TV flickers a lot when I am watching a movie, and at times the image is not very clear. I see. And what about the keyboard? I spilled some coffee on it, and now it won't work. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we can only exchange or refund defective products. We cannot take responsibility for misuse or damages. Fine. I don't know why they make these things so delicate anyways. All right, we're back. So now let's take a look at a couple of phrases we've picked out for to be exact on Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. The first verb we have today here in Fluency Builder is the main verb in today's dialogue, to return. So I would like to return this TV. Okay, so when you want to give back a product, you don't say, I want to give back or anything like this. You say, I want to return this product. Well, it's not just giving back. It's giving back and getting your money back. That's right. So to return means that you bring back the, the product and the, the store will give you back your money. Mm, that's right. And he wanted to return the TV, as we mentioned, because the image was not very clear. But he also mentioned that the TV flickers a lot. So what is this to flicker? To flicker is another verb. And flicker is something that the things with light do. The mm -hmm. light flickers, the TV flickers. It means the light comes on and off, on and off, mm -hmm. on and off. So dark light, dark light. It's not very steady. It's not like there's light or right. dark. And so this is very annoying when you're watching TV because it goes light, dark, light, dark, and it's hard to see what's happening. Exactly. So it's basically, just imagine someone is turning on and off the light all the time. That's the same thing that's happening with the TV. It flickers. Exactly. Or like when a light bulb in your lamp, when a light bulb is dying, mm -hmm. it flickers. That's right. All right, so we wanted to uh, actually return these goods, and the clerk explained that we can exchange or we can refund defective products. Okay, these are two important verbs. Exchange means to trade one thing for another. Right. So when I go to a foreign country, I exchange money, right? Mm -hmm. I can exchange Japanese yen for American dollars. Right. But at a store, like an electronics store, I, I can exchange my TV that I don't like mm -hmm. for maybe uh, a really good MP3 player or, mm -hmm. or something like that. So that's what happens usually if uh, maybe your TV is broken or it had some problem. You exchange it for a new one, mm -hmm. right? So... But maybe you don't want the TV anymore. Maybe you changed your mind. So you want to get a refund. So a refund, you hear this word fund, it has to do with money. Mm -hmm. A refund means that the store will give you all your money back. So if I refund my TV, I give my TV to the store, the store gives me $500 or whatever the money for the TV was, mm -hmm. and I can buy anything else anywhere okay. else. That's right. So this is what happens when you get a refund. Very different from exchanging the goods. And uh, finally, the clerk explained that they cannot take responsibility for misuse or damages. So remember this as a phrase. This is really important to, to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, it means that if something goes wrong, you will take responsibility for it. You will handle it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, for example, um, the store says that it can't take responsibility if something is broken. That means that they won't pay you back money. <laughs> That's right. So if you buy a TV and you accidentally get it wet or you get water inside and this is why it gets damaged, then the store cannot take responsibility for this damage. Or you could say it the other way around. You could say if you're at the office and you make a mistake on a report, you say, listen, boss, I'm really sorry. I take full responsibility for this mistake. You can, you know, punish me or you can make me do it again. Right. But I take responsibility means that I say it's my fault. Right. You're guilty. All right. So that's all we have for Fluency Builder. Let's listen to our dialogue one last time and we can review everything we've just learned. Hi, I would like to return this TV. Sure. Do you have a receipt? Yeah. Here you go. Actually, I also want to return this keyboard. Okay. May I ask what the reason for returning these products is? 
The TV flickers a lot when I am watching a movie, and at times the image is not very clear. I see. And what about the keyboard? I spilled some coffee on it, and now it won't work. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we can only exchange or refund defective products. We cannot take responsibility for misuse or damages. Fine. I don't know why they make these things so delicate, anyways. So returning goods is a very useful thing. If you maybe bought a TV at a department store or an electronics store, then you would want to return it if if you had some problems. Now, how easy or difficult is it to do? Because in theory, in in the dialogue, it seems like it's really easy. It depends on the store, of course. So some stores uh, make it easier to do this. Some mm-hmm. stores make it harder. I can tell you, in most stores, if you don't have a receipt, it's probably very difficult. Really? Yes. But uh, a lot of stores have something else that they sell you or give you when you buy something. It's called a warranty, mm-hmm. and this is something that will help protect you if you take the TV home and you have a problem. Right. That means that they will come fix it, or they will give you a new one without an- any questions about what happened. Now, not only can you return goods such as TVs, electronics, or maybe clothes, but in some cases also things that you buy at the supermarket, like maybe chicken. I've heard that maybe sometimes you buy chicken and you open it up that same day and it's gone bad. Really, I've never had that that experience, but uh, I I think it makes sense. It depends where you buy it, of course. But right, obviously at a supermarket and you show the receipt, or maybe uh, milk, maybe that's gone bad sometimes, or yeah. yogurt. Well, because they they probably shouldn't sell it if it's bad. So exactly. if you if you tell them that they sold you bad milk, they'll give you a new one. <laughs> exactly. So that's called a that's called an exchange. You would exchange the the bad one for the good one. Right. You wouldn't get your money back. No. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. All right. So that's all the time we have for today. But this is actually a very interesting topic because it has to do a lot with customer service. So let us know what your experience is with customer service with returning something. Is it very easy? Very difficult? Maybe some stores don't even. Accept returns. They say once you buy it, you cannot return it. All sales final. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let us know: Are refunds or exchanges common where you come from? And have you ever had a bad experience where you bought something and it didn't work when you got home? Let mm. us know. Our website is EnglishPod.com. All right, we'll see you guys there. Bye. Bye.